Hi, it's Mac once again. Welcome to Graphics TV. In this episode, I'm going to show you my logo design workflow. Okay, in the design brief, the client wanted a logo for an organic face cream product. They stated that uh, the illustration has had to have uh, leaves somewhere in the design. So the first thing I did was I went and chose a color palette and uh, I used the same technique as I used on video number two. So you can head over to graphics.tv, that's G-R-A-F-X dot TV to uh, watch that video. Or you could go to my YouTube channel at uh, G-R-A-F-X TV. Okay, so um, this is the color palette that I came up with. The first thing I did was I did a bit of sketching. Yeah, this is not very good because normally what I do is I scan the image. But in this uh, illustration, I had to take a photo of it. Okay, so this just gives me a rough idea of how the logo was going to look. And uh, these are the uh, illustrations of the leaves that I'll be going with. What I did now is I went to the pen tool. Then I'm going to zoom in a little bit here by pressing Control plus about three times. Okay, so I'm going to change the foreground color to none. So what I then did was I started tracing this um, this sketch. Okay, I'm going to hold the Alt key. Okay, so um, once I finished tracing that, what I then did was I chose the uh, selection tool and changed the foreground color. I'll just use any color for now and then change it later. Here we have the first leaf. So what I did is I had to drag it to a, to a new artboard for future tweaking. So I'm just going to drag this to a new artboard. So what I then did was I did some uh, further refining because this doesn't really look um, the way I want it to look. So uh, I'm just going to choose the direct selection tool and then start tweaking these anchor points. Okay, I think that looks like a leaf. Okay, let me just adjust this. Okay, so by the way, this could take a while. You have to be really patient. Anyway, so what I did now is I selected the whole leaf, then I held down the Alt key to duplicate it, and then um, I had to rotate it to make it face the other way. So I'm just gonna click and then just drag this to uh, flip it horizontal. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. So I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and uh, just adjust the size like so. Okay, so um, what I then did was I started looking at some uh, fonts that could go um, well with the um, with the logo. So I had to look at different variations of serif and sans serif fonts. So what I did is I just typed the name Lalina because this is the name of the uh, the company. To come up with all these different variations, what I did was uh, I'm just going to press Control Zero so we can see the artboard in, in full. So what I did was I just typed the name Lalina. And then what I did is I highlighted the text and then went to the uh, the fonts and started choosing just different variations. Just click in there and use my down arrow like so. Okay, so um, I came up with these these different types of um, of fonts. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete that. Okay. What I then did was um, I was looking closely at these because um, I wanted a font that really looks elegant. And uh, to be honest, all these are quite nice, especially this one. This was quite good as well. But um, finally, I ended up going ahead with this one, which was a uh, Helvetica. Okay. So uh, what I then did was just to have an idea of how the logo was gonna look. I put the leaves on the logo. I tried different positions. Um, I also tried like maybe putting it at the end. 
like so. But um, that didn't really look quite nice. So anyway, what I'm going to do now, because all these fonts are in our way, I'm just going to delete. I'm just going to delete all these fonts. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this to the center. Okay, so um, I started playing around with the color now. So um, I just um, highlighted this and choose the color picker just to see which colors went very well with the with the font. So basically, I was just trying out all these color variations, yeah, to see um, which uh, which combination was uh, was good. I thought the best position was to put the leaves above this L letter, like so, and maybe change it, uh, make the size a bit smaller. Okay. So what I then did was I know um, I wasn't very happy with how the text was so close together. So what I did was I uh, highlighted the text and went to the character and adjusted the uh, the tracking. So um, I started off by using 75. That wasn't good enough. So uh, um, I tried 100, but eventually I think I went with 200, you see, and that started looking the way I really wanted to look. I'm just going to go to my final um, composition here. So this is what I ended up with. Um, I, I chose these colors because I thought these were the best colors that went with the uh, the logo. So I'll just show you how I applied um, the two different colors to the to the leaves. So what you do is you just highlight the leaf, choose the color picker, and then just click on the color that you want. And then for the other leaf, you do the same thing. You go to the color picker and then click on the lighter lighter green. If you want to do the uh, to change the text color, you again highlight the text, apply the color. Uh, and then for the face cream, I did the same thing. I just typed. Okay, I'm just going to choose the font here, which is Helvetica. Okay, and I did the same thing. I went to the tracking and uh, increased the tracking. I think that was more than 300. But anyway, that's how you adjust the tracking. And then to um, make the text a bit larger, I just held the sides and then just dragged out like so. And then apply the color by choosing the color picker again and then choosing the color that you want. Okay, so what I then did was I grouped these two uh, these two elements together by highlighting them and then going to object, then group. And then I highlighted the whole logo and then aligned its center by clicking the horizontal align center. And then finally, what I did was because sometimes when you take this to the printers, um, the printers won't have the uh, the font. So the best way to, to deal with that is to, to create the outlines. So what I did was I selected the whole logo and then went to type, create outlines. So I'm just going to move over here to the final um, to the final design. Yeah, so that's the final design I came up with. And uh, I just created a black and white version just to see how the logo would look like without the color. So that's it. For any future tutorial updates, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at MAK17. And uh, tell me what you think about my videos by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.